Hey guys, another update here. No unboxings this time, only um, only an update. Um, I have some stuff arriving, uh, but I don't know when they will come here, maybe in a week. But anyway, uh, I'm going to start with three box sets I have since a couple months back. I mean, literally, I had said that, you know, I have still have a bunch of stuff in front of my TV that I've ordered, and I, I don't even want to watch them when I'm going to watch them. I, I don't know, but they've been laying there ever since then, and I haven't shown them. I haven't watched any of them in probably like two months or something like that. And I haven't really been able to decide whether or not I want to include them in the update and decide not to watch them or if I think I want to watch them later on. But I'm just going to include these three anyway because I don't think I'm going to want to watch more of these because I just I don't really like it. And this is th uh, three DVD box sets, first of which is the first one of Masters of Horror. Uh, there's four of these I think. This is uh, Volume 1. And no, ser Series one, 1, Volume 1, um, you might maybe know how it looks like, I won't show you, uh, but it's a digipack, and it contains 7 films. I've seen um, The Secret Burns, Dreams in the Witch House, Incident, On and Off a Mountain Road, and um, hmm, yeah, Chocolate, I think. Uh, I like the third one and most of those, but I really don't like that one either that much, so... I don't know, I'm interested in Takashi Miike's imprint, but that's it, so my, I might get that one, uh, you know, separately. But, um, you know, I still, I at least want to check it out, but I don't like it. Uh, it's, it reminds me of X-Files, which I couldn't watch either, because it's, it remind, it's like a more gory and extreme version of X-Files, I think, and I, it's, I just don't like it. This one, um, I thought I would like, but um, I have only watched two of them, and there are five on this, but it's the Mario Bava collection, uh, box one, I believe there was a second one as well, comes in five slim cases like that, and uh, the ones that are on here are The Mask of Satan, Black Sabbath, The Girl Who Knew Too Much, Knives of the Avenger, and Kill Baby Kill. I've seen Mask of Satan and Knives of the Avenger. The first one was better, but I didn't really like it either. Um, the second one was pretty boring. Um, but in a, in a way, the second one was kind of enjoyable, but it, it was too boring and too uninteresting uh, to be a good movie. But anyway, I don't know. Uh, maybe the other three would be better, but I'm, I just don't feel like watching them. And uh, then the last one that I was kind of surprised I didn't like, it's a uh, Jerry Lewis collection, has 11 DVDs, so 11 movies. And the movies are uh, The Delicate Delinquent, which I watched, uh, Rockabye Baby, The Geisha Boy, The Bell Boy, which I've seen, and Cinderella, which I've seen. But that's the only three that I've seen. Uh, the Ladies Man, The Errand Boy, The Naughty Professor, Patsy, The Dis Disorderly, Orderly, and Family Jewels. I'm kind of interested in The Nutty Professor, but I don't know. I think j I just I hadn't seen anything else from Jerry Lewis before, if you don't count a very short part in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Like two seconds he's in it. Uh, so I wanted to see if it was anything for me, but turns out it's not. I, uh, I think, I don't think he's very funny. I think he's, well, some stuff he does is funny, but he... You know, he overacts and he drags out on the joke so long, like, you, you can cut the, this joke now and move on, you don't need to dwell in this boring joke. Uh, I don't know. But, um, I at least gave it a shot. And, except for two or uh, three more, I think it is. Uh, I mean, there's three more. These and then three more that I got from London. I showed some in the last one, and then these. Um, Into the Wild. This one I've seen before. I uh, really enjoy it. Um, just as good as the second time. Um, uh, 
yeah, it's a great movie. I think I more see this as a feel-good movie than a depressing movie. I know some people would probably call it depressing because of the end, but I think that the whole the the other parts that happen. I mean, he, all the people he meets and all the happy times they have uh, sort of overshadow the sad part. So I see this as a feel-good movie, but I don't know about you. But um, but if you haven't seen this, then I definitely think you should. It's really good. Uh, then one that I was surprised how good this good this was. It's a Visitor Q by Takashi Miike, uh, Tartan Cinema. Uh, this has is I think uh, if ever I have n not in a long time left this much when I watched a movie. Uh, it's not really a great movie, it's just so damn funny. I mean, very sick movie, very black humor. Uh, some people call it a drama film also, which I disagree with. I don't I don't see it. I mean, there's some drama here and there, but it's really not enough uh, for it to be a drama film, not even partially. But that's in my opinion anyway. But it is, uh, if you haven't seen it, then you, you should because it's really pretty fucked up to be honest and uh, but it ve just very funny pretty pretty uh, great comedy in that one um, and then we got uh, Mean Streets um, haven't seen this before by Martin Scorsese obviously uh, thought it was really good I definitely enjoyed it um, yeah don't have much else to say about this but I, I thought it was, it was really good Mean Streets um, then we have an anime movie called Paprika. Um, I um, this is the only anime movie that I've seen, except for the four movies in my Hayao Miyazaki box set. Um, and uh, I liked it. Um, it sort of started kind of. Um, I did. I started started uh, not like I thought it was going to be, so I kind of lost interest and so I didn't really concentrate too much and I, there was a lot of details in the story that I lost, I thought it was kind of complicated and uh, there's just some stuff that I didn't understand and then it get, over time, got much better and the visuals was just incredible, very creative and innovative and um, I ended up really, really liking it, but I want to watch it again to understand what is actually going on. I mean, I know sort of what's happening. I mean, I know what's happening. I know the plot. It's just that some of the explanations to certain things I don't really understand. So I'm gonna have to watch it again. But if you haven't seen it, then you can like see here on the front, like a bunch of colors and a bunch of stuff. If if you can see, I'm not sure, but. Uh, there's a bunch of um, colorful items and uh, it definitely li lives up to all of this. It is really, a lot of stuff happens. Um, and then the last one from London, except for those other ones that I talked about. Uh, I'm just checking the time here now and then. Um, the Sopranos, season, season 3. Uh, I had heard some people... Um, on a forum say that uh, season 3 was supposed to be better than the first two. Uh, I don't really agree with that. Um, I think it's about as, as good. Maybe a bit worse, but really not. I mean, not bad in a way. Definitely not. It's, it's great and I look forward to get the other seasons. Uh, but um, I didn't really find it better. So uh, maybe I have to say I was a little disappointed since I had built my hopes up due to those comments on the forum saying it was much better than the first two. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really good show. And then these three I showed in my unboxing uh, last time. There's one of them that I haven't seen yet, but these three I, I've seen. Um, and first off is Nil by Mouth. I thought it was okay. Um, I don't know. I I don't really care for these sort of gritty movies. Um, yeah, um, I don't know. Um, yeah, 
it um, it was it was okay, but I, I didn't really think it was that great, to be honest. Uh, in America, oh, I have a fan on. <laughs> have you seen? I don't know. My maybe my hair is moving all over the place. I just noticed. Uh, I'm not trying to be ca Carola here. I'm just I forgot about it. Only Swedish people might know that reference. Anyway, uh, but in America, um, I really thought that I would like this movie, but I didn't um, because uh, I it, w it just wasn't really anything special. I mean, it it was was it just, just was just very average. I was surprised to see how much many cliché there were and. Um, just uh, you know, the family was very boring, and I not much happened either. I don't know. Um, I didn't like it at all. I thought it was pretty bad, actually. Shit. <laughs> but um, yeah. And the last one, Stranger Than Fiction, except for like the last. Maybe it was as much as half an hour, but um, you know I, I can't spoil it here. But just what happened in the ending, I don't know how to explain it without spoiling it. But I just wasn't a fan of that. I I also thought it was gonna be a bit bit funnier, like how you know all of a sudden he has this nar narration to his life, and I thought it was gonna be. A bit funnier to see him sort of adjust to having that and him getting in weird situations because of it like him screaming out loud shut up and there's someone else whatever but <laughs> it just wasn't as funny as I thought it was gonna be uh, but it, I mean it was a good movie but um, a little disappointed so that's everything in this update um, yeah I don't have anything else to say, I guess. But um, the other, um, the unboxing video will probably be up. I don't know if I'm gonna have more DVDs than probably probably will. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching as usual, and um, see you in my next video.